Hello everyone and welcome to the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. This is where astronauts train, uh, working with science, working with their experiments. And this is our classroom where we go to school. Just like in school, we need to be focused for long hours and so a lot of effort is put into being fit and eating well. So let's go have a look to where astronauts train to stay fit. So this is our PTF or physical training facilities. In other words, our gym. Here we work on muscle building and muscle toning. You may wonder why an astronaut needs to work so much on muscle building and toning where in orbit we don't have to lift any weights. Well that's exactly the reason, because our body doesn't get to lift any weight in orbit, we lose both the muscle and the tone. So we spend about six hours every week and sometimes more training in order to get ready to go to orbit. Just like any other athlete, we also need to work on our cardiovascular activities as astronauts. However, we also collect data for researchers to see how our body changes when we train in orbit and when we train on the ground. So we do experiments, for example, we collect the data on our maximum volume of oxygen when training on the ground and how much energy we use on the ground and compare this data with what we get in orbit. In a way, researchers can also improve the way we train and the way we will train in the future. As an astronaut, I wish that I could just switch off gravity while on Earth, but it's not possible. So instead, we train here in the Neutral Buoyancy Facility, or MBF. Underwater, we learn how to move like when we are in space. We stay underwater up to eight hours, and it's a lot of work and a lot of fatigue. That's why we need to be fit. But astronauts are not the only ones to be fit. You also need to be fit, and you can learn how to train like me when you join Mission X 2013, train like an astronaut. You will learn how to have fun while training, how to distinguish good food, bad food, and have fun at the same time. So join us. The first exercise we're going to do is called core exercising. Core exercising works with your abdominals and your back. These muscles are very important because they're the ones that keep you stable and they give you strength whenever you do powerful motions, like swinging a bat or lifting up your backpack when you go to school. In orbit, we actually lose control of this muscle because we don't have gravity um, working them out. So astronauts need to really train those muscles and we do that by exercising like this. So right now, I'm using my core muscles to balance my body and I'm really keeping my body straight by using those muscles in the abdomen and in the back. And I can do this for uh, quite some time and if, the more I do, the more I'm working them out. The next exercise we're going to do is called the mission control. We're going to talk about coordination, which is using your muscles and your balance in order to achieve the motion you want the way you want to do it. I'm, stand I'm standing on a balance board uh, because when we go into orbit, our uh, inner senses do not work the same as when we are on, on Earth. So uh, researchers notice that the first couple of days when we go into orbit and when we come back, uh, we lose a little bit of special awareness and also the sense of balance. So we on Earth, we do exercises like the one I'm going to do to train our brain to work without those senses. When astronauts fly in space, they never get to use their legs because they get to float. So instead we use the bicycle to keep our legs strong. Today I will be performing a simple protocol which is called the Tour d'ISS just to train my legs. And, but bicycling is also very good for endurance, it is good for strength, it is also good for running around and playing. Plus, don't forget that if you take a ride in your bike, you're also ecologically friendly, so it's an all-around good thing to do. When we are on Earth, our bodies are always under the constant effect of gravity, which means that right now, isn't when I'm standing, my muscles are working. However, when we go in orbit, gravity does not affect our bodies anymore. And so, 
our bodies tend to lose bone mass, muscle tone, and we need to prevent that because it could be very dangerous. When you, it's like not doing any physical activity. When you don't do a physical activity and your muscles and bones become weaker, we become a lot more prone to injuries. So it's important to maintain it. An exercise like the one I'm going to do now, even with our body weight, can already help us a lot uh, preventing those injuries. This is a simple squat where I just go down. Of course, this is already a very good exercise with our body weight. If we want a little more challenge, which we always do, we can use a weight bar after we learn how to do it properly. And the exercise is exactly the same. We keep our back strong and our legs and our bones. Of course, something else that we can do to improve our endurance and to keep our legs strong is running, the simplest exercise of all. And on the station, on orbit, we do it using a treadmill just like this one. Of course, it would be much easier if we could go outside, but unfortunately we cannot do that in orbit. Now today I'm going to perform one of the many protocols that my personal trainers have developed, and I'm going to start doing that right now. Now, physical training is only half the story for being physically fit. The other half is eating well and knowing what to eat. If you join Mission X, you will learn about the food pyramid. You will learn what food is good, what is bad, what is okay to eat in large quantities, and what is not so good. For example, this hamburger may taste good, but if you follow our hamburger activity, you will find out just how much fat there is in it and why it may not be such a good idea to eat a lot of hamburgers. When you join Mission X 2013 Train Like an Astronaut, you will have fun working out with your friends, you will learn a lot about food and other things, and you can train like an astronaut. Because remember, astronauts are not the only one who need to stay fit. You are the future, you will go to space one day, and you need to be fit. So, have fun, and I'll see you next time.